Well, welcome guys to another video. Today I'm at Meru County. We are going to feature this four bedroom bungalow that is built using precast concrete panels. Beside me is the, the engineer in charge of the project, engineer Ian, and he'll, he'll introduce the project to us. So engineer Ian, yes, uh, welcome to the channel and the community. Okay. Uh, I can you. see you've built something amazing, something beautiful, yeah. elegant, even before the finishing. Okay. So kindly introduce the project to us. Okay. Uh, the project uh, involves uh, involved the building of a perimeter wall all round. This size is a 50 by 100 yeah. and uh, a four bedroom house. Yeah. So ideally at this stage, this has taken uh, a month and two weeks. A month and two here. weeks. So uh, you started towards the end of February. Yeah, towards the end of February. Yeah. And now we completed the wall. Yeah. And you can see now we are in the finishing stages for the uh, project. Okay. Yeah. I can see the client decided to use precast panels for yes. the fence and also for the house. And I'm sure he might be the first in Meru County. Yeah. So how did he get that idea for, to use precast panels all the way from Nairobi and other areas to now here to Meru? Uh, definitely. Property Norma. Ah, okay. <laughs> so your channel, yeah. uh, uh, he got to know about precast. Yeah. So he was interested and even he, he wanted to, the project to move faster. Yeah. So and then uh, at a budget. So okay. definitely precast was there. Yeah, option. because it now took one month and two weeks. Yeah. So for him, that was that was pretty fast for him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I wanted us to feature this project uh, step by step. Uh, okay. We'll start with the foundation. Mm -hmm. uh, kindly explain to us the soil type and the foundation you decided to use to build mm -hmm. this house. And oh, if okay. there were any challenges uh, in, during the construction. Uh, okay. Uh, the soil type here, uh, was fairly good. Yeah. So we first excavated the perimeter. Yeah. Because now when building the house, there's so many sensitive things. Okay. So we first had to do the fence. Yeah. So I think we did the fence in two weeks, and uh, after completing it, we built a temporary gate. Yeah. Then now we started on the house. Yeah. We did the normal foundation using the foundation stones. Uh -huh. And then now we started the walling with precast. Yeah. Then we did the windows, the doors, and then now, as you can see, the roofing is being completed. Yeah. yeah. So how long did it take to do the foundation? Foundation, we took a week. You just took a week? Yes. Uh, yeah. Any challenges that you might have faced uh, uh, regarding no. this site? <laughs> this site, uh -huh. I think materials were available. Yeah. Uh, everything was, was perfect. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, let's mo move on to the precast panels. Yes. Uh, where did the client get the precast panels from? Are they available in, uh, in Meru or did he have to get it from the companies in Nairobi? Uh, he got it from Kingdom Precast in Nairobi. Yeah. Oh. Then now it was transported. Yeah. But you see, even if you compare the transport costs of being precast, yeah. he, he used uh, three trips uh -huh. to come with all this precast for the perimeter and for the house. Ah, and also including the hitch beams for the... Oh. Yes, yes. So three trips. Three trips. And he was done with... And he was done with the transport costs. Ah. I'm sure you can uh, also appreciate that the transport is uh, lower. Yeah. If you compare now the stones, the sand, okay. the many trips you would need to complete an ordinary house. And what kind of lorry did he use? Uh, just the typical 12 ton. Oh, the typical 12 ton. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So for the, let's start with the house. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what height of the panel was used? Uh, client wanted a, a good roof floor height yeah. so we used three meter panels uh -huh. yeah so we used three meter panels for the wall and for the house ah yeah for the for the house yes how many precast concrete panels were used uh 158 panels uh -huh. for three meter so yeah. roughly costing 332k 332k for yeah. the now for the three meter yeah for the three meter uh -huh. and then uh for the fence the precast alone was 400 400 pieces. for the H columns and the panels. Uh, yeah. As in that's the number or the that's cost? That's the cost. Or the 400K? Yeah. But uh, for the panels, yeah. uh, the fence used 128 pieces yeah. and 32 H columns. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. We'll talk about the fence later on. Let's okay. Turn. The house. Uh, we are now at the house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, you said how many panels? 158. Okay. 158 to cover yeah, uh, the to entire... The yeah, entire perimeter and the, the partitions. Yes, the external walling, yeah. the partitions, yeah. 
the gables, uh-huh. yeah, everything you see, uh-huh. took 158 panels. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We can work with me. We we, we discuss more about uh, the windows. Yeah. So how how do you design the windows to fit a pre uh, the, a precast panel wall? Um, you just do the windows ordinarily. This is a normal window frame. Yeah. Uh, this is the design the client picked. Yes. And then now you just put the C channels at the sides and at the top. Oh. Yeah. Then so, now they are held so the together. window frame is welded on top of on the, top of the C, C channels. channels. Yes. Oh, so that makes it stable. And yeah, and that makes the, the structure uh, held in place together. Yeah. All all round. Uh, so yeah. the client has the option to weld the 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 skeleton the of the window, the frame of the window. Yeah. On site or off site? It's yeah, it's normally we weld uh-huh. on site, yeah. or even if you can purchase off site and then we install. Uh, so yeah. Okay. But these were fabricated here on yeah. site. Uh-huh. How, how do you deal with corners when it comes to precast panels? Uh, how we deal with corners? Yeah. Uh, in fact, we start with the corners, so uh-huh. we just make sure they are square. Yeah. And then uh, there's a reinforcement bar, yeah. which we put. Uh, while holding, say, this panel with the corner. Yeah. So we put a reinforcement bar to hold oh, them in place. Okay, okay. Yeah. So the, uh, in this plaster, there's a reinforcement bar. Yeah, so there's a bar. Yeah. And then at the edge, you make sure it's sufficiently reinforced. Yeah. So we also uh, put a diagonal reinforcement to, to, to hold the two in place. Uh-huh. So the entire structure, after putting the panels, we make sure that it's rigid all through. Okay. So the strength does not come from only one panel. Yeah. So it comes from the entire, the entire structure, uh, the entire panels. Okay. Yeah. And how long did it take to uh, set up the panels for the house? For the house, I think uh, around a week. A week? Yes. Wow, that is fast. Yeah. That is for the external walls and the partitions? Yeah, the ah. partitions. So a week for the foundation, a week for the walling? Yes. Ah. Yeah. That's that's fast. It's yeah. a game changer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We are now at the at the side of the house. Yeah. And I saw something interesting that you've done at the top of the three meter panels. Yeah. So would you explain to us uh, what that feature is? Uh, okay. What we do? Yeah. Um, you know we don't do the traditional way where you again have to do like a lintel. Yeah. Or a ring beam all yeah. round. So on top of that. We placed a steel section, uh-huh. and then now we put the channels both sided now to be able to carry the gable. Yeah. So we prefer to use steel. It's actually cheaper yeah. and actually faster. So we just use the steel to hold the top panels yeah. and also to add reinforcement all round. Ah. So this steel was holding also the steel trusses, which uh-huh. we use to support our roof. Oh, okay. So it's a so it's a yeah. twin. It so it's a composite structure. It's ah. steel and panels. Ah. Yes. And uh, to achieve that uh, that line, yes. that angle, yeah. you had to use a grinder to cut the, the panels. Yes, we just we just did the truss, and then yeah. now after you've done the, the truss, just do the measurements, then you install them. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so Engineer Ian, yeah. we've talked about the foundation, yeah. the precast panels, now yeah. let's talk about the roof. Okay. So, now, uh, I can see this, they, they've used steel trusses in combination with timber yeah. for the truss work of the roof. Yes. Uh, how did you come to that decision? Um, okay, um, you see the steel section we put uh, all round holding the gables. Yeah. So the client preferred to use steel, yeah. but even if you use timber, it will be okay. But I think it's also because of the, the weight. Okay. Uh, the client decided to use. Uh, yeah, what I'm holding here. This, this these are mm-hmm. echo tiles, mm-hmm. so these are, um, are made using plastic. Yeah. Yeah, so this is, this is actually a modern structure where we actually, it's, a, it's a, actually a, an eco-friendly build and uh, a modern build. So yeah. uh, this is from recycled plastic? Yes, yes. So uh-huh. there's a company that manufactures this, yeah. so uh, this is what we opted for, for the roofing. Uh uh-huh. yeah and it's pretty light uh, to, to if you compare it to like the clay tile yeah it's light it's lighter than that it's, it's durable yeah. and also it can be reused so uh-huh. meaning meaning later on if you want to 
to reuse, to remove, and then now remove somewhere else. Yeah. It's quite easy. It's quite easy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so you, I can see that it just it's a matter of interlocking them. Yeah. To interlock, the and then they feature. have holes for for the nails. For the nails. Yeah. Uh, so okay. So they already come uh, ready to and easy to install at the site. Uh, yeah. And is also uh, and is the roof ridge yeah. uh, made of the same recycled plastic or is it steel? Uh, no. Or is it a record iron sheet? Uh, the roof, the, the ridge is uh, iron. iron okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, that's very interesting. Yeah. So uh, the client decided to use uh, a lot of alternative building technologies, precast yes. panels, yes. recycled uh, plastic uh, for the roofing. Yeah. And also precast panels for the fence and hitch beams. Yeah. Oh, I can see uh, maybe my content is now reaching other other areas <laughs> I never thought of. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. So guys, I thought it was a good idea to just do a brief tour of this house uh, while it while construction is ongoing. So I hope you don't mind the background noise uh, because a lot of activities are ongoing. Uh, there's a, there's some roof work that is being done at the top, so you'll hear some pounding sounds in the background. I hope you don't mind that. Uh, now we are at the kitchen of the, of the house, and I uh, saw some interesting features I wanted the uh, engineer here to show us. Oh. Uh, like for example, you can see they've used precast panels to create the countertop space yes. for, the, for the kitchen. Yeah. And also for the pantry. Only, only it, it took us through that. Ah, okay. So, um, mm. relatively, depending on how the cost of the timber, yeah. but you can also use the panels. These are, are what we use well, once we cut, like say, the areas for the windows, yeah. whatever remains, we again reuse it. You can use it to make the countertops, yeah, and, uh, and even uh, cabinets. Okay. Yeah. So you can buy the granite top, at yeah, and okay. just put it on top of this, uh, and yeah. do and do the, the and do now the, the MDF. doors, yeah, yeah, the MDF the partitions, yeah, yeah. So panels is very flexible. Even if you can see the top, yeah, you just put also the blundering. Mm -hmm. For the ceiling, yeah. uh, directly on the panels, yeah. and also for the pantry. Yeah, you can see uh, the space was created using uh, leftover yeah. precast panels. Eh? Yeah, yeah. This we used we used the panels. Now, uh, where the pantry will be, the shelves. So, uh, um, yeah. So the design of the pantry mm. was actually was actually sort of. Uh, when you're in the sitting room, yeah. whatever someone is doing in the kitchen, has also some privacy because oh. it's an open plan. So, yeah, uh, and also I think we have an outside uh, outside place out oh, yeah. the kitchen, washing area, the washing area, and also a store. Yeah. So, which is why he just chose the the client chose a small one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this is this is the, this will be the sink area. Yeah, this is the sink area. Yeah. Uh, but now the clamp, yeah, so this is the sink area. Okay. So the sink would be here. You see, uh, another thing we have not mentioned is yeah. how how easy to integrate the plumbing and the electricals are. Yeah. So I'm sure once we proceed and open with the finishes, yeah. it's quite easy to integrate the plumbing and the electricals yeah. to the precast. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but uh, has, the, has the electrical works commenced for this? Not yet. Not, not, not yet. yet. Just uh, the plumbing. Just a lot of plumbing. Yeah. And the electrical will be, yeah. will be done later. Okay. Yeah. So let's head into the living room. It, yeah. It's quite spacious. Yeah. And it's open plan to the kitchen. Yes, yes. There's the dining. Yeah. There's the kitchen. Uh -huh. There's the TV area. So you're asking about the roof. This yeah, is the roof what, ridge. This is now the ridge. Uh, to be used now on top. So this is uh, this is the normal mabat, but now it's the it's the prepainted, and it matches the color of the of the tiles. The, the tiles. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, will, uh, will there be a ceiling or? Yes. Yes. Uh, you see that ceiling. that wood we have started doing the the wood for the ceiling. Yeah. I'm sure much later we'll just see all around this level. Yeah. We have done the the the, the timber work for the ceiling. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. In the one month and two weeks that you've been on site here in Meru, yeah. what other structures have you done apart from the fence and and the and the house? Uh, where we are standing at, uh, we've done the septic. Yeah. Done the manholes. Yeah. Uh, we've done this kitchen. 
this laundry yeah. behind the kitchen. Mm -hmm. uh, we have done the overhead tank. Yeah. Yeah. So these are what we have also done during okay. the period. Uh -huh. So it, it's very productive. Yeah. While others are doing the uh, structure, yeah. and, uh, others are now dealing with the, the sewage system, yeah. the washing area, yeah. uh, water. Yes. Okay. Okay.